In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new IDX Broker Impress Listings plugin and how to add a new listing to your WordPress website. So what you're going to do is you're going to log in and you're going to come over here and you're going to click on Listings. Now I already have a couple of listings added, but to add a new listing you're going to click on Add New. and you're going to start by adding the title of your listing. So I would use the address, for example. So maybe I'm going to use a make something up for this example. I'm going to use the entire address as my title. Then down here you're going to put your description. So you may have, I would use something very descriptive here. And I just use something from somewhere else to have an example for you. So use a description, put something really nice in here. The more you have, the better it looks. Then down here, you're going to put the price in. So add all of the details that you can. Again, put the address. Inside all of these, you're going to fill out all these different details if you have a subdivision, if you have scenery, mountains, location, um, maybe recreation, golf course, um, if there's anything else that you want to add in here, if you have extra parking, laundry is on the first floor, maybe there's um, do something special about the utilities, anything like that. You want to hide the price from the visitors, you want some special text to display in, instead of the price, you can put that here. So if there is, maybe it's a foreclosure or something like that, you can put there. Um, custom overlay text, this may be something that you want to put, um, maybe it's a new build, or maybe it has a private lake, or maybe it has something very special about it that you want to put in here and it will overlay that text on top of the photo. And so down here, you're going to put the photo gallery. The photo gallery is really easy. You're just going to click Add Media. And you can either upload those files or choose from the files you already have. If you want to upload the files, just click Upload and select the files from your computer. So you can just go right here. And then choose all your files. And then after you've chosen them, it'll show up in your media gallery. I like to, once I've added the files, put some keywords into the files. I always do that. Um, once you've chosen, picked all of the files over here, click on Create Gallery. And then choose all of the files, all of the photos that go with the gallery. And click Create a New Gallery. After you've inserted them, you're going to see this little section underneath each photo where you can put a little caption. It's also on the first page too, but it's easier to fill in here. So. I would put a little descriptive caption here under each photo. On this side, you're going to click on Media File. You can change the amount of columns that you put um, that this is going to be displayed in, arranged in. And then 
You, and you can also change the order. You can drag these around. Maybe you want the main photo first. And then the master bedroom. And the view and the kitchen and the basement. And then you're going to insert gallery. And it inserts it very nicely. If you have a video tour, if you've uploaded a video to YouTube, or if you have another video service, you can insert the code right here. The map options, you can do a couple of different things here. You can put the latitude and longitude here and it will automatically insert a map. You can install the simple Google Maps short code, in which case you can just easily enter a little short code here, which it's pretty simple to do actually. If you've installed this, here's the short code right there. You simply put it in and it will automatically display a map. So you would replace this with the full address. So I could use this address, but it's not going to actually display something if I put it in there. So I'm going to leave New York. But that's exactly how you would put that address in there. Contact form, if you have a contact form, you can enter the short code for that contact form there. Otherwise, uh, if you leave it, the single listing template will use a default contact form there. So I would just leave it as is. Additional details, you can say it's featured on somewhere. If it is, you can put a little summary there. Um, this is actually really useful. I like to put all of these different, all of the different information in here. I would always put this in here. It's really a good idea. And I'm going to show you why because it puts um, some nice stuff into the site. So. Let's add a little bit of details. I'm just going to add some content into each one so you can see what it looks like. And that's it for here. Once you're done, come up here on this side. We have some more information. You're going to set the featured image. This is the main image for the listing. And I yeah. to this one. Yeah. You select the property type, residential. If you have, a, a, let's say there's not a property type that you that you need that to be in here, you can add a new property type here. You can also manage those from here. So these are called taxonomies. You can register new taxonomies that will show up over here in this section. So for instance, let's say you want to have a taxonomy, which this whole box is a taxonomy, called subdivisions. So you want to have a subdivisions taxonomy, you would add that here, and that box would show up here. Location, let's say Franklin, and then we're going to set those as active and featured. And then up here, we're going to go ahead and publish it. Now, after that's published, we're going to go ahead and open it to see what it looks like. That. I have to change it so I need to choose my listing template right here and update it. If I don't choose the listing template, it's just going to show up in the site as normal. So this is what it would look like in the site without any, as a no, as not as a listing template. But I want to use the listing template, which is like I'm using the luxurious listing template in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh it. And there you have it. You have the address up here, the beautiful photo. It shows active. The price with a little bit of information. It shows the open house here. Down here, description, details, all of your content, photos, displayed beautifully in three columns. Notice how when you put your mouse over each one, it also shows the little uh, caption on it too. 
Keď mi to tam okolo sme vašli aj tak fora. Schools and neighborhoods. Contact. Contact form would show up here. And you have your location and map at the bottom. And there you go. That's how to use the Impress Listings plugin. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email at support at yoursiteneedsme.com.